Well, he's almost the last man standing. There is that last match out there, but uh, what a way to do it. Mitchell Mann, many congratulations. Neil Folds just Thank totted you. up. You've played 55 frames of snooker to make it through to a Crucible debut. 10-7, 10-9, 10-9. You must be elated and exhausted. I don't even know what to say, actually. Um, I'm lost for words. Uh, me and my manager do a lot on the mental side, John Farnworth. And um, I just tried to uh, keep good composure in the last, last few frames. Well, at all times, really, in the match. But um, when I needed it, you know, I just, uh, just tried to stay calm and think well, really, and be positive. In the what turned out to be the penultimate frame at 48, you must have thought, OK, I'm, I'm there, I'm over the line. And from somewhere, Poom Jang managed to draw you back to a decider. Was, was that a moment where you thought, hang on a minute, I'm, I'm so close and yet I'm going to be denied at the, at the last hurdle? Well, I seemed to score heavier as the match went on, really. And um, when I was in on 48, I thought I was going to get the job done because I made a couple of good breaks previous to that. And um, I missed a red, just pure tension really in the arm, but it's probably expected, isn't it? And uh, he, he played really well to, to win that frame really because uh, I think he got a really good clearance or he got back into the frame somehow, he put some good balls under pressure. And then uh, when he eventually won that frame, I thought, oh, <laughs> here we go. Yeah, but great, great clearance. And uh, we were reminiscing. Neil remembers watching you in Junior Pot Black at the, at the Crucible back in 2007. So it is, of course, your debut in, 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 in the big one. But you have had a taste of the Crucible before. Did you think it would take you this long to, to, to qualify for the, for the big one in your own right? I think, I don't know, it's hard, isn't it? Because there's, there's so many good players out there trying to qualify. Everyone wants to win. And... Um... You know, some, some matches you come short and, and today that wasn't the case for me, luckily. So um, I just, I don't know what to say. I'm a bit lost for words at the minute. So you'll have so much support and, and so many people wishing you and John uh, well over the, over the coming week or 10 days, however long your adventure continues for. Um, but having played more snooker than anybody else to qualify, are you going back? to Birmingham now, are you going to go and have a rest and, and watch the draw at 10 o'clock tomorrow from home? I think I'll watch the draw from home and um, I'm going to have some family time, see my little girl, because uh, it's been about, what has it been, about a week now or something? Eight feel, tough days for you, probably that, feels actually, like a fortnight. Yeah, it feels that way, so, um, so no, I'll go back and see the family and then uh, probably just uh, hit some balls, keep the arm ticking and uh, get back up to the cruise. Is, is there anybody who you would particularly like to play in, in the first round? I think they're all tough matches. Um, I wouldn't want to mention any names or anything like that, uh, but grew up with Michael White in the junior eras and we've had some good games down the years and that, so that would be a nice match like. So. And uh, presumably... Anyone but the Rocket. <laughs> OK, that was very honest of you. Um, well, we can't, we can't predict that, but, but make sure you tune in at 10 o'clock tomorrow. It'll be uh, another little instalment of drama. Yeah. And is your daughter old enough to, to appreciate what's going on? Will she she's be coming with you or still a baby? She's not a clue. She's, uh, she'll be three in July. So um, I think we might go on holiday after the season's over and uh, take some time out. But no, she, she won't have a clue. <laughs> well, she can, she can watch the DVDs she can, she can watch it on in TV, years to come. Right? Gold, Daddy, that's what she says. So that's good enough for me. <laughs> and actually, it's, it's, been a, it's turning out to be a really positive end to a tough season because, you know, at one stage, it wasn't certain that you'd be remaining on the tour. And then, and then you know, towards the end of the year, you, you've started to show what you're capable of. You're 74. There's 13 and a half grand now in the kitty. So that could see you move very close up towards the top 64, even if things don't go your way in the opening round, whoever you play. So... Presumably, you've taken great confidence from this, not just because you'll be making your Crucible debut, but because over the last eight days, ten days, you have secured your status on the tour and you've proved to yourself and everybody else what you're capable of under pressure. Well, um, just go back to John there. When, uh, when we played a few of the first sessions here, he says it's, uh, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And um, I've finished the season quite well, well, really well, actually, to, uh, to keep my, my tour spot. Uh, through Poland PTC and uh, it looks like I've finished well, doesn't it? So.
two years again. And um, I'm happy with that. Well, First don't. Two seasons. You know, it's not over yet. The, the, the biggest match of your life is, uh, is just a few days away. And who knows, you might even be pulled out the hat and, and face the ball run at 10 o'clock on Saturday <laughs> morning. So not too much celebrating when you go yeah. home to Birmingham. Many congratulations and uh, watch the draw tomorrow. You're in do, it. Yeah. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks a lot.